like Sony had just uh, split up from CBS Sony. So he said, all right, you know, we'll do it. And we let them take care of the artwork and uh, as far as the cover. Otherwise, you know, all four of us, or Bunny and myself, may have gotten on the cover and said, Rob and Tom, again, for the third, uh, for the th third uh, good joke in a row. But uh, so then all of a sudden, this thing started going like nuts, and people were paying 25 and 30 bucks a crack for the record. I mean, hell, it's worth at least 100 or 200 So, I mean, we thought we'd try to uh, no, I mean, they were, they were paying too much for the record. And so we said to the record company, look, okay, put it out and put it out exactly. Otherwise, don't put it out at all. You put the book in there and leave the Japanese writing in it and all the kinds of stuff. So it's a little touch of art to people that don't know anything about art. And it's also art for the people who do know about art. And, and for us, we don't know what the hell it means. So, you know, I think that the Japanese writing means uh, it's ads for laundry detergent or something in there. But what the heck? I think it meant a lot of yen because it is your successful, I think most successful album, at least uh, here in the States. Yeah, it is. It's uh, actually it's our most successful album in every place. Mm -hmm. It's uh, doing real well. <laughs> the big shock. Whoops. <laughs> sure, we don't know what uh, we're doing all the time, but that's great. I mean, we've got a good album that's coming out later, Dream Police album, but this album is a good album. And but so, it, was, uh, it was your uh, decision then. I thought it might have been the record company's decision, but you wanted it out in the States then. Well, we discussed it with them. They said, look, this is happening, and we said, yeah, you know, it is happening. We should do something about it, because uh, we'd said all along we were never going to release it, but, mm -hmm. but it was just going so nuts that uh, we did it, and then we didn't realize, you know, we never thought it would do as well as it is now. It's like uh, in the top 20 albums in the States, and it's been up to, it was number 10, and you know, right up there with the, you know, all the all the heavyweights like, uh, let's see, uh, I can't even think of any. The know, village people. Village yeah, people. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Rod Stewart. Yeah, but, <laughs> all of them. Yeah, uh, Red Nugent, you know, yeah, all, you know, yeah, all yeah. those guys. What's interesting is it came at a time when live albums were on the wane. And for a while there, everybody and his brother had to have a live album out. It got yeah. to be a point of uh, saturation. Well, that's one of the reasons why we didn't want to release in the States, mm -hmm. because we thought, ah, oh, a live album. I mean, it's like hearing the Rolling Stones doing Bitch for the tenth time on a mm -hmm. different live recording. We didn't want to do that, uh, but uh, that's one of the reasons, like even on the Japanese album, it's got uh, three or four songs that aren't on any of our records because we knew we were recording live, even though we figured it would never come to the States. We didn't want to, you know, drag it through the Japanese markets with the, the same old stuff. So it's got a lot of the old tunes, but it's got some new stuff on it. So, I that's mean, that's... That's nice that you care about the fans. In fact, let's play one of them, yeah. the new songs. Though it's not new, but it uh, will sure sound until the old fat man wrote it. Yeah, uh, our friend, that's <laughs> dumb and all. Right, ain't that a shame, but through the uh, changes of cheap trick here. Pudgy uh, Pudgy. Dumb and all. That a shame, uh, live cheap trick that is somewhat uh, similar to uh, what, what you're going to hear tonight. Uh, it was recorded at Budokan, and uh, well, well, there was, uh, we were talking now, uh, many, uh, the American audience, I think, has become accustomed to the term live at Budokan. You have one, Dylan had one, various special shows we had. Uh, I don't know what the American concept is, but Budokan is similar to... Budokan is uh, the Madison Square Garden or the Coliseum. The Cow Palace. The yes. Cow Palace. The, <laughs> the big schmaltz. <laughs> the big rooms. The big cocktail mm -hmm. lounge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it holds, I don't know, about 12 or 14,000 people. And it's eight sided. And it's. Uh, it's where the emperor of uh, Japan goes and holds all his uh, uh, big rallies and all this junk. And plus they have sumo wrestling there. You know, it's, it's a general, just a big building. And it's a, if you play there and, uh, and do a few shows in that, in that hall, it, it means you're, you're popular in Japan. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it is. And uh, like, uh, like I said, kid, it's a lucky album for us. <laughs> we, and we never planned on it uh, doing so well. And so we yeah. thank everybody that they like the tunes. You know? Kind of like throwing against the wall and see what sticks, and it's stuck, and it's sticking, and it's sticking. Yeah. <laughs> but the new album that was going to come out, uh, and this, you know, uh, okay, once again, to re uh, kind of put some capsule, the new album is coming out with the success of the import of Budokan. It was released here and met major success here. Do you feel any anticipation that you're getting ants in your pants by getting this album out? Because it is kind of get, maybe getting old to you at this point. Uh, well, uh, which album is getting old? The Dream Police. The Dream Police yeah. is not getting old because uh, it's got so much so many new ideas on this album uh, there's 
with Tom Peterson singing on the thing, and plus he designed a new bass just for the album, and it's uh, you can really hear the sound. And Bunny is playing better than ever. We got some neat new tunes on there, and Robin, uh, Robin and I wrote uh, one real hot tune, and uh, there's some great stuff. And Robin singing good, and plus I wrote some strings for the album, and it's uh, it's got uh, it's got all four of us on the cover for a change. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. back to to day one when we were all on the cover. Not that I you know I don't mind being on the back of the, the back of the album because uh, you know, that way I can. Uh, uh, you know, I look at the the cover of the other albums when when I'm sitting in the racks in the stores. You know, and that, so it doesn't really bother me. You know, I mean, there's other things to look at, yes, but uh, you know, I uh, yeah, there's some good stuff on it, so it's fun. Yeah, it's like it's like having a piece of art, and you know, you you, you draw the picture and then say, all right, eight months later, I'm gonna let you see it. You know, God, yeah. it's, it's 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 an exciting album. Can't wait for it to come out. But you know, when 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 do you think it will come out? <laughs> well, I think it was gonna come out in April. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, we're getting close. We're going to rip it off the calendar. Basically. Oh, well, <laughs> it might be out. It'll be out this summer for sure. December. Okay. No, this summer. Oh, summer. Oh, summer. Okay. Summer, no. We're, summer. we're not going to make it a Christmas album, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, but did you do anything live from it? In yeah, course? we do. We're doing a couple songs from it right now. We we were doing more, but it's uh, with the success of Budokan. It's, uh, we're, we're really concentrating a lot on that album and a lot on the Heaven Tonight album. And also, uh, once in a while, when we get requests, requests we do some stuff from the first album but yeah we are doing a couple things matter of fact Tom one of the songs that Tom sings on the album and we do that live now it's called I Know What I Want and I Know How to Get It a lot of people didn't think he knew how to sing before they uh, it's, it's neat it's like having trump cards you know yeah, so I think you get something new every time he's from the world, right? yeah alright well you're going to that means tonight you can get cheap to past present and future and we're looking forward to uh, Dream Police album in the meantime uh, Buddha Khan is still fresh in the memories and the charts of American minds and this is and, between uh, you said you like from I like it. New color album, and they're going to give you the way somewhat similar they're going to do tonight. It's live. Come on, come on, come on. Dying Thanks, tonight. WMMS. Thank Good you. Evening. See Thank you later. You. You're going to do that. All right. Come on down. Come on, come on. Thanks again to Rick Nielsen. Check. Yeah. Later.